turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were gonna get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Mm, yeah, it doesn't look good. Right, I don't think the front door is going to be open. But, nah, it's locked. Just in case, though. Oh, I'm going to have to go around the side. Chair commun... No, quiet. <laughs> I thought it said chair communications. The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Where's Mr. Fucking Negative there? Come on, Max, pull yourself together. I just realised they don't have any painkillers. This is going to be a nightmare. Oh, good God. There's two more. Oh. Okay, there's one more. Where is he? There he is. Shit. I'm expecting to die. Pretty much in the next five seconds. What a brilliant sound. Pretty careful. No one in there? Ah, oh, bugger. Ooh. Couple of junkies. Don't want to risk agitating them. And they seem pretty harmless anyway, so. What the? The whole building was rigged with explosives. Right. Hmm. That didn't work. Does the guy open it? Oh. No, I remember. Just shoot this. There we go. I'll sit back and watch. Kill the guy. Oh no. Oh, dual ingrams. Such a good weapon. You do get through the ammo though. Painkillers, finally. Couple of junkies, I'll leave them alone. Oh, hello. I think I'll wait for him to get a little bit closer. Okay. There we go. Wasn't there one more? I think there's one more. Yeah. Hey. Uh, could be people in here. Nope. Apparently not. Ah. Uh. 
<laughs> Where's your friend? There are two of you, right? Nope. Fair enough. Well, at least never bloody open. Ooh. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. No, I don't think so. Oh. Oh shit, no painkillers again. Get up! Oh! Double kill! Where's my Unreal Tournament freaking sound effect? Oh, what the shit! I didn't remember that. Hmm. Is that a lock? Not anymore. Someone had left a letter on the counter. Yeah, in a sec. There was a key on the shelf. Oh, weapons shop, excellent. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. Oh shit. The SWAT's coming in. Uh, staircase key, that's there. Yeah, okay. Don't I get ambushed here? No, I'm misremembering it. Ah, no I'm not. Oh, come on. I can't die now. I haven't died yet. I mean to keep it that way. This is a dangerous staircase. That's why. The amount of times that caught me out. You'd think I'd learn, but it still managed to catch me every now and then. There's a guy up there. Is he dead? Hmm. There's some painkillers across there, I think. In here? No, then the other one. There. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. No more explosions. Gonna have a heart attack. Oh, sick jumping skills here. Yeah. What the f What did I say about explosions? Now I can't get back. I guess I'm going this way. Where? Jesus. F There's like five people in this room or something. If I remember. I tell you, I'm more on edge than playing any horror game. If I didn't remember that, he'd have probably killed me. Uh, Painkillers for you. Is this uh, Desert Eagle ammo? That's full. Um, Gotta go through, I think.
The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. I seem to remember when I played this one the first time, I wanted to climb, and I tried climbing up that, but you don't need to do that. You just need to go down to ground floor again. And these guys are dead. They had guns? Oh, yeah, I mean, of course they had guns. That's exactly why I was killing them. I'm still surprised I'm not dead yet. Jesus Christ. Especially since my aim is so bad. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Luigi's laundry. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. You haven't seen my face yet. Off, Joker. Hmm. In here, I think. Oh. No. In here, no. Where's the guy that was whistling? Oh. There he is. Jesus. Where are you? Oh, God. Oh god. <laughs> oh yes. Is that it? No, I seem to remember there being more. Alright, maybe not. No, don't shoot! I act You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh dear, more AI that I need to escort. This could go so wrong. Come on. There we go. Hey boy. Hey boy, come on. There we go. It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Wu. Come on. Okay, John Wu. All right. Come right in. It's a trap. It's me. Oh shit. He got a shot off on me. This isn't good. A third one. Come on. I don't think there's another. There's never anything on. Painkillers, seriously. Painkillers, where are you? I don't like this next bit. I can't remember why. Haha. <laughs> That's why. Oh, my aiming's off a little. I think that's why I prefer the shotgun. Oh, painkillers. How I missed you. I'm just addicted to pills. Here we go. Nice elevator music. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. 
Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Brevera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NYCNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Okay. Right, this guy's going to come out of the John soon. What the okay, quicker than I thought. What's in here? Right, out the window I go. And across here. This week on address Oh god. Home. I don't want to go there. It's the last place I'd want to end up. But that's where I always end up anyway. Only it's not me talking to the pink flamingo. Yeah. Again, do a YouTube search. It is quite funny to watch, but I'm not recording all of it. Right. You can have a nade, mate. Hey. Now he should be dead. Unless he's fucking Superman. No, he's dead. They're all dead. Anything? Fair enough. Out this window. Uh, is it this way? No, that's just a train. This way. And here we go. More explosions. Okay. Oh god, where's that coming from? Ah. Spray and pray. That's my motto. Red, blue, or green? It's always red or blue in the movies. So, green? No, not the green. <laughs> Excellent. It's a pretty big crack. Well, it's a fucking huge one now. No, locked. Don't know why I did that. I just like playing with vending machines. Oh, here they come. Dangerously close. I seem to remember there being more. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Shotguns. Huh, what the hell? Where do I go then? Oh, yeah. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're doing nothing. What are you doing? This is war. Freaking war. Then he got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peace like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! You're dead, Pain! And what the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss! Got me to be bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. Oh Christ, am I gonna survive this room? Uh, apparently, yes. A crumpled letter lay on Gagniti's desk. So it did. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo! Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gogniti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. 
Jack Lupino was a psycho. Out the window, Max, come on. Vinny Gogniti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. I hope he went this way. I think he does. Yeah. Gogniti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Yes, seems to disappear when it wants to. Oh Christ, there it comes. Hey! 